Mods versus mods. Allowed versus not allowed. That's what I'm gonna be talking about. Hey guys, it's me, K9, and I do not have 45,000 subs. So if you could press subscribe, all we need is like 400 people. Come on. Anyways, let me clarify what legal and illegal mods are. First, let's talk about legal slash allowed mods. Pretty much client-sided mods or cosmetic mods are all allowed, such as the cosmetic mods or these guns and knives made by, I don't know, killers. Jeffrey Dahmer. Every mod that is client-sided, which means you're the only one that can see it, is allowed. Everything on the Gorilla Tag modded Discord or the Monkey Mod Manager is allowed. Basically, everything that doesn't give you in-game advantages in public lobbies is allowed. So to help you understand more, let's say I downloaded platforms from Monkey Mod Manager and let's see what would happen if I try to use them in-game. All right, so first up, let's try using platforms in a public lobby. I'm in a public, I don't want to walk out so they don't recognize me, but I'm pressing the grip button and there's no platforms happening now let's try using platforms in a private lobby all right so i'm all alone in a private game and no platforms here's why these mods count as legal mods because you get a button down here that sets everything to modded so now there's modded casual infection hunt you you get the point now let's try setting it to infection all right now let's try platforms and they work obviously my point being is that these legal is that among us these legal mods only work in modded private lobbies, and these legal mods aren't only from the monkey mod manager. There's a lot of trusted people that make them and then release them on their own Discord. Now let's talk about illegal mods. When it comes to mod menus like Shiva's or IROC or whoever, there's millions of them. All of those are bannable. Why are they bannable, you may ask? Because these mod menus are usable in public lobbies. Mod menus basically bypass this modded lobby stuff. They could use it in normal private lobbies, they can use it in publics, and that's what makes it bannable. You've probably seen a lot of YouTubers make reviews on those, and some even making their own mod menu, which I really don't understand. I mean, you're a YouTuber for a game that you like, so why would you promote something that ruins the game that you build your channel on? The purpose of these mod menus are to be used in public lobbies and ruin the game. Obviously, there are some exceptions to this, like Haunted's mod menu, or 70s but that's beyond the point i cannot stress enough how many times i've seen people complain about getting banned when they have an illegal mod menu i've heard people say i was in a private lobby i thought you were allowed to mod there why am i banned because you probably tried it on normal private lobbies not modded point dexter publics and normal private lobbies have an anti-cheat system which is why your mama banned what shoes she got on huh Sorry, I'll... I've had people say, K9, you're a modder. I've seen you float in one of your videos. Yes, the gravity mod I used was from the Gorilla Tag modding Discord. The other day, some guy was telling me how he doesn't like Style Snail because he's a modder. All of the mods on Style Snail's videos are legal. Pretty sure he doesn't use mod menus. Duh. And even VMT was banned for accidentally using tag all in a public lobby. He made an appeal and it was denied. Then VMT said that Lemming didn't want to unban him, even though all he did was accidentally, accidentally press, press a button. button. It was because the menu itself was illegal. But it is understandable that he had a mod menu to control his fan lobbies. I do understand that it gets hectic and monkeys like to show off and run away from lavas and then ruin in lobbies and stuff. Something else I want to talk about when it comes to private lobbies. I've seen people mod in private lobbies and then say, you can't report people. It's a private lobby. You can 100% report people in private. People tend to get more toxic and ruin minigames because they think reports don't work in private lobbies. Well, they do. <coughs> I don't think I've talked that much in a video. Damn. Speaking of minigames, if someone ruins a minigame, you can just report them for toxicity. I've been in lobbies where people say there's no option for griefing. I can't report this person. They're toxic. Just report them for toxicity. Anyways. That's it for the video. I know it's a random one, but uh, I felt like too many people are getting banned because of the confusion between legal and illegal mods. I mean, I personally know two people that have used... Did I do this for two? I mean, I personally know two people that have used illegal mods while not knowing the difference between, you know, legal and illegal. So I thought I'd clear that up. Yeah, uh, 45k. Subscribe. One more thing. If you're a YouTuber that promotes mod menus... Pinky promise. What'd you think it was? Pinky promised to not do it again. Great, goodbye. Normal private lobbies, not modded, point Dexter.